Welcome to the Quantum Engineering Lab at UCL. We're a relatively new lab. We've just celebrated our first one year anniversary uh, since we set up in summer of 2020. Uh, right next to me, you will see a Blue Force dilution refrigerator. Blue Force is a company which is set up in Finland. Um, they're one of the up and coming companies when it comes to cryo-free dilution refrigerators. So what that means is that we don't have liquid helium uh, being pumped into the system uh, from an external source. Instead, we have a helium-free and helium-4 mixture. You'll be able to learn about why we have that particular mixture of isotopes of helium later from one of my colleagues, Jonathan. Uh, the main reason why we have a cryostat like this is we work on very, very small systems. And in these small systems, we want to work on quantum effects, which have very low energy. Uh, to be able to see the effects of these low energy structures, we need to have uh, as little noise as possible from the surrounding environment. So that means that we want to freeze out all phonons. Uh, so a phonon is a type of uh, quasi-particle, which we use to explain uh, lattice vibrations. Uh, so a lattice vibration is every material is made up of a lattice of atoms. Uh, they vibrate very minutely on a atomic scale. And a phonon is a way which we actually are able to visualize that as, as scientists. So we try and freeze out all of those vibrations so that we can take measurements of very, very low energy effects. So the main effect we work on here is one-dimensional uh, quantum transport of electrons. So what that means is we constrain the motion of electrons such that they can only go in one direction. So they're not able to go up and down or left and right. They're only able to go forward and backwards. Um, the reason why we want to constrain the electrons to be in this kind of regime is it allows us to quantize the energy in, in certain length scales. Um, and that allows us to see new interesting effects in the conductance of materials. Now, why would we be interested in doing that kind of research here at UCL? Well, every day, uh, electronics are progressing further and further. Uh, in particular, there are two points which are introduced when we look at kind of quantum technologies. One is we are following Moore's laws with electronics. That means that every two years, about, uh, the number of transistors, that's the things we use to make computers do the things they do. Um, the number of transistors on a chip of the same size doubles. So that's generally been fine for the past few decades. But now we're approaching a limit which is called the quantum limit, where the size of the transistors are becoming so small that we can start seeing quantum effects. Uh, that could be tunneling uh, between different transistors, uh, or it could be the uh, occurrence of more low dimensional uh, regimes. Uh, the other reason why we're interested in these effects is there is the advent of this thing called quantum computing. So quantum computing is where we use these uh, quantum bits, as they're called, uh, to be able to pre perform exponentially more operations. Uh, I'm going to explain what quantum computing is to you in a, another later video, uh, but mostly all you need to know is that there are, it is based on the ability to see quantum effects, and hence we want to be able to study those quantum effects to give a strong background and platform to be able to build these kinds of strong computers. 